this is Sam. I'm playing Dragon Age the Bell God. So let's start with the important mission. That is the one we got from Emric. We'll start with this. And then we'll do the other ones. So, the plan is basically to sneak around, find Hezenkos's lantern, and smash it. There's quite a crowd over in the manor. Johanna's gathering. If she's mingling there, we'll be spotted. Fortunately, we have someone who could pass as a servant. You don't <coughs> think he'll stand oh. out? There'll be other undead servants. I'd be surprised if Johanna recognized him. You know, she never truly appreciated Manfred's cleverness. <laughs> right, Manfred. You're to find Johanna's guests and help us gather information on where her workshop might be. We'll be watching in case anything occurs. Something's going to occur. Yeah. Once we find and destroy Johanna's lantern, we'll end whatever she's planning. Hopefully, before she introduces the lantern to her guests. There should be enough time for Manfred to blend in as a servant. Let's find a place inside to observe him quietly. Right. Let's find another way in. Johanna's last guests must already be in attendance. There's a lot of people here. Hezinkos must be planning to drain their souls with her lantern. What's she gonna do with them? Ray. Sounds like the party's in that main hall where we confronted Hezinkos. Perfect. We can watch Manfred discreetly from the balconies. And see if Hezinkos has that lantern on her. shrine. I could question the deceased there about the location of Johanna's lantern. Well, the book can lead us to the shrine. Let's hit the library. The library's to the east, right? We'll be closed Hezenkos's portal into the Fade. Right. But why come all the way back here? Johanna must have a workshop hidden here. Likely where she's prepared whatever she plans to empower with this lantern. I'm dead, watch out! You have creatures, you must deal with them quickly!
I'd expected Johanna to post more guards. Maybe she didn't want to scare her guests. Let's see if we can find that book pointing to the ancestral shrine. Nothing about a shrine here. And what's a romance doing under geography? about this oh it's haunted ah there's a spectral tone well done it's not opening one must be delicate that guest of johanna's claimed to be an expert in spectral literature and was interested in the shrine let's have manfred hand in the book see what he says Manfred, take this time to the man asking about the shrine, please. Don't worry. We'll watch from the balcony. There should be most helpful in finding Johanna's lantern. This way to the shrine. I'd love to go to this kind of party. Oh, Not one with Hasenkos exactly, but with other mages. They're probably swapping all kinds of theories. These gatherings aren't always so academically minded, Bellara. Though I did overhear a lecturer in mathematics arguing about a new form of geometry with the bursa from Cumberland. Maybe you can introduce the shrine's locked. We must find a... Manfred? Is this a key to the shrine? Excellent, Manfred. <sighs> oh my. A body from the House of the Verheims prepared during the Storm Age. That's amazing. Should we take it back to the necropolis? Well, if there's no claimants, it would be a crime not to. Time to find Hezenkos. He's all yours, Emric. By flame and seal, by light and flood, open your eyes once more. Who dares 
disturb. Friends to the dead. Friends, this one was abandoned. Lost. Nimrick, it's getting noisy. He's unusually obstinate. Speak! Where is Hesenkos? Prove yourselves. What claim have you to the deceased? <laughs> A willing dead companion. This one concedes. Hesenkos makes a thing that should not be. Red tapestry. Look there. Rook, did you hear that? Manfred just... I know. Also, we should move. Oh, he can talk. Manfred, say something else. Come now, you just spoke. We have to go. Yes, uh, yes. Secret door. Manfred, could you please squeeze through and open the door from the other side? Aha! I knew I didn't imagine him speaking. So Manfred speaks. That'll get the other watchers talking. And they said a simple wisp could only grow so much. I knew he was learning quickly outside the necropolis, but this level of complexity is remarkable. That's incredible, I think. Isn't it? He's so precocious. Good work, Manfred. Hope this leads to where Hesenkos is keeping that lantern. I can only imagine what she's planning to use it for. workshop. What's that through the wall? Oh. Is the lantern attached to that oh monster? What? Wow, that's it. How did she do this? Lich, you can't control something this massive. That girl on the skeleton up there. Heads and causes lantern. She's going to use the life storm in it to reanimate that damn monstrosity. We must reach the lantern.
seeing why Hezenkos failed that lich morality test. We must make haste to that landscape. Unbelievable! Johanna's stolen a chamber from the Grand Necropolis and transposed it under Blackthorn Manor. I'd say that should be impossible, but, well, we've been to Arlathan. The Necropolis is born here. First thing I can't send to is sneaking about. Oh, I wish Manfred would see the fire. They'll be fine. We'll handle this. There's the lantern. We're gonna free the spirits inside. We must, before we can destroy it. Like back when you were freeing those spirits, hasn't got trapped in the manor. That took a lot out of you. I must try, Rook. No! <laughs> Emmerich, there are too many trapped spirits. I'm sorry. I can't. Another lash of power might end me. to chance death for your precious spirit. For all your fine words on the subject, only I had the courage to risk my life for our art. I've seen Emmerich face worse than you. I'm not the one so paralyzed by fear I couldn't seize immortality. Johanna, listen to me. You're right. I've never overcome fear of that final dark. I miss having a friend that could. Yes. Who is the idealist? I'm sorry Lichdom failed you. I swear I would have helped you had you come to me. But puppeting this creature... Puppet? Puppet? Do you think I'm staying a failed lich? I won't command my greatest creation! I will become it! I am fighting in this closed space. colleagues, interfering templars, inept rivals, you all have a place in my heart. And tonight you will fuel my ascension at the cost of your miserable lives. Move! You think you can stop me? Once I get rid of you, I will merge with my greatest work and conquer this city! Emmerich, can she do that? Yes! She's attempting full possession with the life of the people here! 
We need to stop Hesinkos long enough to destroy that... Lantern. Is that much life inside? The backlash could... We don't have a choice. Once I destroy you, wretches, my union, my creation, will be complete. His name is Manfred! it and Bound here, night and shadow, light and blood. What are you doing? Let your chains loosen. Let the fade draw close. You'll never succeed, you old fool. I release you to the air. Oh, you get a 
and slipped away. Emmerich, how's Manfred holding together? We must go to the necropolis. Yeah. Manfred was brave enough to die in line of duty, saving his friends. His body could only take so much. But I underestimated him, Rook. What bravery in the heart of the dead. And how he grew. Manfred disobeyed me beautifully. He was his own soul at the end. Can you bring him back? I will ask. Emric Volkaren. You were not expected so soon. Hail the lords of the necropolis. Hail the watchers. What has brought you? My lord, I come regarding Manfred, my fallen companion. Yes, there are ways to return his spirit. But should you do this, Lichdom falls from your grasp. What? Why? Lichdom is long. If I'm to stand outside death, I must make peace with others passing through it. What would we otherwise become? How many exceptions till tyranny? Revive him and remain mortal. Or let him slumber and join us. Emmerich. Manfred chose to help us. Am I too weak to accept his well-earned rest? I yearn for Lichdom Rook. But leap into something greater, that everlasting light. Do I revive him and live out my days? Or do I honor death by letting him rest and protect this world through immortality? Why am I always making big decisions here? Why don't they make the decisions for them? Emric, Lichdom is your life's work, your dream. I imagined I knew its price. If I haven't even the strength to accept Manfred's sacrifice, I would outlive you all, Rook. Would you still remember us? Always. Kept alive in Lichdom's immortal memory. Death's swift touch held back for all time. If you really want to go beyond death, I think you have what you need to let all of us rest. And peace shall follow. You're right. After I make my farewells, I will undergo the last rites of Lichdom. And Rook, thank you. probably has to prepare before becoming a lich. I should see how he's doing. Let's take the quests before um, I, can, I can go for any quest now. Like uh, let's do her brother's last rides.
We offer this form to the sky, the sea, and the earth. Thanks, Rook, for coming. I don't think I could have done this alone. We're a team. We stick together, no matter what. Still, I appreciate it. Anyways, we need to light three more braziers. Each one represents an aspect of the self. It's been this way for centuries. It's part of who the Dalish are. Maybe the Archive could have told me why before I freed it, but it's what I know and what I want. I know it's hard, but you can do this. I already buried him once. At least this time, it's for real. Let's head to the first brazier. Okay, the first brazier should be ahead somewhere. How far? However far it needs to be, I guess. Jaga jaga sini bantah nak tanya serius. Mereka susah untuk saya dan kita ini. Mereka. I wonder what we lost by freeing the archive. I mean. Besides an opportunity to be called witless fool a dozen times a day. Definitely not going to miss that. Belara. Hey, Marilyn. Look, if you need to talk. Let me know. I don't want our history to make things awkward, and I'm still your friend, you know? Anyways, time to light the first brazier. We give to the sky to share your story with the sun and moon. Feels a little weird saying that one with everything we know now. It's not the ancient elves' fault that Elgernon is, well, what he is. Did I make the right choice? Freeing the archive? Losing that piece of who we were? I've had to make a lot of decisions. Some are hard, some are easy. Eventually, you have to choose. And what happens, happens. I just wish I knew whether I made the right choice. But I guess we really never know until it's all over. Anyways, let's head to the next brazier. It's unusual to see all these obstacles in the way of a funeral. Death's hard to deal with, though. No matter where you come from. Each obstacle's supposed to represent grief and moving past it, literally. But... Yeah, it's a little weird. Probably. Syrian would have laughed at it. Okay, on to the next brazier. What they did? The Evanuris? To us? Never forgive. Nev! What are you doing here? What? You know I show up for you, Belle. They'd only let one of us come, though. The rest send their regards, especially Emric. I'm just... Wow. Thank you, Nev. And everyone else. Hey, as long as I'm around, you've got family. All right, go on and light the brazier. We give to the sea to share your story with the heart of the world. We always talked about visiting other lands, 
Syrian and me, I mean. Does the rest of the world look like Thetis? Shattered by the Evanuris? What would things have been like if they'd never existed? The past isn't just one thing. It's all the little choices and events that add up. Who knows what choices we would have made? If they would have been better or worse. But I keep thinking the Elven were the first people the Evanuris enslaved. They broke us and kept us broken. We survived in spite of them, not because of them. But it's still hard knowing what I know. <sighs> Okay, on to the next one. Okay, one more brazier to go. I'd always get the words wrong in the rituals, I mean. Syrian would laugh at me. Well, not in a mean way, and he'd help me. It meant a lot. So why are there people waiting after the obstacles? It's a reminder. I thought Dalish clans planted trees for their funerals. This is what we've all... Valara, I'm sorry about Syrian. Thanks, Strife. I'm glad you're here. He was one of us, even if he never officially joined. He died protecting Arlathan, even knowing the cost. Saving the world. Seems like it might run into the Trying to light the last. And a third returns to the soil to blossom once again into life. And that's it. A Dalish funeral, or one version, at least. It hasn't changed much in centuries from and to the earth. Are you going to be okay? You know, I thought I'd be sadder. But I'm okay, mostly. It hurts, but a little bit less every day. Freeing the Archive? Was it the right choice? Does it mean Syrian died for nothing? Well, you sent Anaris back to whatever nightmare he came from. That's not nothing. That's a really good point. He wanted to reclaim our past, find the truth of who we were. He never got that never found out what he wanted. But he did the right thing. And I got to say goodbye. That's worth something, right? Now I have to live my life for him, for me, and for our people. That's all any of us can do. Just keep living and putting one foot in front of the other. It's just hard, sometimes. Harder than it should be. We'll figure out who we were, who we are, and we'll do it the right way. It's time we let the ghosts of the past rest. I hope, I hope you've found peace and that we'll meet again. Goodbye, Syrian. I love you. Oh, my God. 
Got them all. Now let's see what they've got. Okay, so let's do this party. Rescued some Danish from being Archdemon breakfast, didn't you? Wish I could have seen the look on Elganan's face. So. Tarsh prize the enormous ruby out of the statue's eye socket. Except then it wakes up, and now it's real pissed that it's missing an eye. <gasps> oh, my. What kind of statue was this? Big snake. Not bad. Not bad? It's a giant snake. What would have been better than that? Dragon. Maybe. I've seen dragons, though. Never a giant snake. And now we've got a giant, angry, one-eyed snake statue trying to swallow Tarsh whole. Wait, how does that work? Where would they go? Did it have a stomach? Wait for it. Best part is, while Tarsh is pounding that snake's nose, she's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties, I was so proud. Oh, uh, um... Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it, sorry. What are you doing? Pulling a barb. Oh, okay. A barb? Tradition in the Lords of Fortune, from one of our old members, Barb. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Bad blood among your crew's not good for morale, but there's not always time for big drawn out apologies. So when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up, we don't quick tend to put it right. Pulling a barb. Oh, there we go. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlix was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. And out of them, too. Hmm. Isabella's apology work for you, Tosh? Yeah. Just... I didn't expect the Lords to care about... the stuff. Me being non-binary. Kirkwall taught me about family. If it matters to you, it matters to me. I mean, to the, uh, Lords. Oh. Thanks. Uh, anyway, where was I? So, their Tarsh is thigh deep in a snake's maw and still holding the giant ruby in one hand. I yell that we'll get them out of there and Tarsh just yells back, Get up its ass! I'll meet you in the middle! Okay, the stomach I get, but did it really have a... Hey. Who ate the last breaded cheese wand? Oh no, I'm sorry. I guess I thought, well, I don't know what. It's fine. No, no, they're your favorite. I think Tosh will survive, Ballara. No, Rook, Tosh loves cheese wands. Tosh loves everything. Nothing like running down dragons to build up an appetite. It's the fire breathing. I have to eat more to build up stuff in my gut. I know what I have to do. I'm pulling a barf. One, two, 
three. Heart's in the right place. Form's a little sloppy, though. <laughs> Bend your knees. That was fun with exercise and what. <laughs> okay. So I think this one. Okay, if I go and do this, it will uh, trigger another mission or something like that. So before doing that, I'm going to go back to the lighthouse, talk to the other guys. And definitely we are going to, I'm going to talk to Solus in the next video. Yeah, not in this one. There's no mission related to Neve or yeah. Davril. I made a fresh pot and ah, that's Rook's walk. Yeah, just me. You brought Nev coffee. <laughs> I brought an excuse. Spy thought I should talk to her. Well, not just Spy, but I'm only good with knives. You made pie. Gooseberry. You made it twice. It was nothing. You're not chiming in? No. Well, you have the coffee, and you probably have a case or something, so... I don't need pie, but you remembered my favorite. You find me at midnight just to talk. Maybe I like that. Maybe I like... Really? Right. I think you've got this. You know I won't make your life easy. I don't make anything easy. <laughs> but... You do make it better. I, uh, well, don't use your charm all at once. I have more than that. I hope. Okay, let's talk to Devlin. Maybe tomorrow. Swimming? Don't push your luck. You're still learning how to fly. You two have come a long way since we met. Yeah. And he's still just a cub. Uh, wait till he's a teenager. It's all about emotion with a son. What makes him happy, what makes him sad, or afraid. He's pure that way. No hiding anything. He likes you, you know it. He doesn't like you. He won't hold back. What about me? He's taking a shine. Yeah? Listen, I wanted to thank you. Without your help, the Griffins would have gone extinct all over again. You stepped up. They have a home because of you. Watching over the forest seems like the best future for them. Eldrin's going to love you for this. I wonder what Hassan's brothers and sisters think. He says as long as there are clear skies to roam, warm sun to nap, and bellyfuls of food, they'll be happy. The Griffin's word is good enough for me. Till Tosh teaches him how to swear. That might actually be fun. See you around. Okay. So, uh, you can see there is a... Uh, Emrick here with a quest. But there is already a quest here with Emric. Speak with Emric. Oh, that's the quest. Okay. And then we go talk to him.
Why is it so cold and... Hello, Vorgoth. Rook. Rook, Vorgoth and I have just finished discussing some preparations for my lichdom. I shall be with you until the end. Classic Vorgoth. Hmm. Is this a bad time? I've so much to do. Crafting a glamour, for example. After Lichdom, I'll need an illusion of my mortal appearance for polite company. Good call. I've told Harding about the ritual. I'll inform the others afterwards. Rook, would you accompany me during the final rites as witness to my Lichdom? Of course. Thank you. I'm so pleased it'll be another watcher. When you have time, I'll send word to the necropolis. Okay, there is like time, like five minutes of time, but I wonder if I start. What are you wanting here? Oh, help Emmerich with next turn. This is going to take some time. So, I will just end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. We will be starting with uh, this Emmerich's mission in the next one. So, stay tuned and I will be guys. Bye. Take care. See you soon.